What's going on everybody? K0LWC. You're here in the shack with me today. Uh, you can see some of my DMR radios behind me here. Uh, we're going to talk about one of the most commonly misunderstood things if you're new to DMR, which is static versus dynamic talk groups. Let's start with static. A static talk group is set by a repeater owner, or if you have your own hotspot, you can also set up static talk groups yourself. And if you haven't watched my video on why you need a DMR hotspot in your shack, click right here and I'll give you a link. Go check that out. Uh, again, static talk groups are set by either you as a hotspot owner or by the repeater owner. Uh, think of static talk groups like always on talk groups, meaning that if you set, say, oh, I don't know, 3100, the USA talk group for Brandmeister on your repeater, that means anytime there's traffic or communication across that talk group, the repeater is going to broadcast that out to anybody monitoring. So that's why sometimes you may say, well, I want to listen to Virginia or Florida or New Jersey for a talk group, but I keep getting 3100 or some other static talk group is always coming through on the repeater that you're using. Again, a lot of repeater owners set up static talk groups for what they want to have static on a certain time slot. So again, think of them like always on. If there's traffic on that talk group and the repeater owner wants it broadcast, it'll always be there and received no matter what. So what is a dynamic talk group? I got you. A dynamic talk group is something that you're gonna key up from your radio, whether you're going into a hotspot or into a local repeater. When you key up, it's gonna activate that talk group on that repeater or on your hotspot for 15 minutes. That means for 15 minutes, you're gonna hear everything across that talk group. However, after 15 minutes, the repeater is gonna drop that talk group and you will no longer hear anything until you key it up again and the 15 minute timer once again resets and it will be active on that repeater on that slot for 15 more minutes. So for example, if I wanna to talk to my friends back in Wisconsin using a repeater here in Denver, uh, I may go ahead and key in 3155, the Wisconsin talk group. And if I'm getting into the W0TX machine here in Denver, the best etiquette, what I would do with the dynamic talk group is, I would key that talk group for one second then wait and listen, wait five seconds. Hear if there's an ongoing conversation on 3155. You don't know because you just activated that talk group. Now you actually can hear what's going on. So again, key that talk group, wait five seconds. If you don't hear anything, then go ahead and give out your call. Again, once I activate it, I have 15 minutes to use it. Again, as I keep keying it, it keeps resetting 15 minutes, 15 minutes. Once I stop talking, I have 15 minutes and then that talk group will go away and the repeater, you'll not hear any more traffic coming from the key that I keyed up, the talk group that I keyed up, excuse me. So that is the fundamental difference between a static talk group and a dynamic talk group. Static are always on. Repeater owners turn on static talk groups that they want turned on their repeaters. You can have static ones on your hotspot. If you wanna choose three talk groups that you always hear traffic no matter what on your hotspot here at home, you can do that. Buy a hotspot. Again, watch the video about why you need one. Um, that way you don't miss anything that's going on. That's the beauty of having your own hotspot. But however, dynamic talk groups are all by push to talk. They're not always on. You have to bring them up so you can listen. And then once you're done talking, you have 15 minutes and then it will go away and the repeater and the network will drop that connection. That's the difference. If you have any questions, drop me a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe for more great ham radio videos. I'll catch you again next time.